wa 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 begging lau apo en tua ke pule wa 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 begging lau apo en tua ke pule Former NMP Viswa Sadasivan raises inconvenient questions again, providing platform to discuss issues. Viswa was appointed as a nominated member of parliament in July 2009. The following month, he used his maiden speech in parliament to table a motion calling for the House to reaffirm its commitment to the principles enshrined in the Singapore National Pledge, which refers to Singaporeans as one united people, regardless of race, language or religion and questioned whether the government was sending out mixed signals by emphasizing racial categorizations, for example, by promoting ethnic-based self-help groups. Sexual harassment allegations. On 4 February 2021, Singaporean comedian Sharul Chana shared on Facebook that an inappropriate and offensive innuendo was made during an interview for an online series Inconvenient Questions by Vizwa, who was the interviewer. Vizwa apologized on the same day after Sharul had reached out to his producer about the sexual innuendo after the show. Thereafter, doctoral researcher Kiran Kandati shared screenshots of WhatsApp conversation between her and Vizwa in 2016, of which he had asked her for a kiss. Despite Kandade trying to steer the conversation back to work-related matters, Vizwa persisted. Bertha Henson is a Singaporean blogger and a published author. She worked at the Singapore Press Holdings for 26 years, where she was primarily an editor for the English newspaper, The Straits Times. Bertha Henson was also the founder of the socio-political commentary websites, The Middle Ground and Breakfast Network, that ceased operations in 2017 and 2013, respectively. Socio-commentary website Breakfast Network has shut down after it decided not to register with the Media Development Authority. Netizens can no longer log on to the site or access articles that have been posted since the portal went online eight months back. The MDA said in a statement on Tuesday that the website, founded by former Straits Times associate editor Bertha Henson, will have to cease its online service as it will not be complying with the registration notification. Bertha Henson, thank you for making time to join us today. Now, you were a journalist with uh, SPH, Singapore mm -hmm. Press Holdings, for what, 26 Gen years, 25, 26, 26 yeah. years? That's a long time. Yeah. And and uh, and why did you leave SPH? Oh, very simple reason. I was going to have a new editor and I know that we have very different personalities and different political perspectives. And I think he knew that too, so you know. And we'll probably clash. So I got out before I got killed. As a journalist mm. in Singapore for 26 years, 25 years, uh, you have seen several elections, you've seen the change of Prime Ministers, yes? Yes. Uh, from Lee Kuan Yew to Go Chok Tong, Go Chok Tong to Lee Sang yeah. in 2004. Um, can you share with us your own thoughts about the political evolution of Singapore? Well, I think we know enough about the growth from third world to first, and that was under Lee Kuan Yew. And I thought um, Go Chok Tong did his level best to keep that going with more good years the next lab and we were, and then basically we went for broke but speed under the Xian Lung until 2011. What, what does that mean? Growth at the po the fastest, greatest possible speed. But not at any cost, right? No, at that point in time it was probably at any cost mm. that we couldn't relax, you know, or somebody else would eat our lunch. Mm. So basically we can't say that we want to go for moderate growth. <laughs> Subscribe, yeah, yeah, press the subscribe button, the like button, and the share button. Thank you, and have a nice day.